we're live now. All right, Chairman. we're on. I'm going to uh, welcome you to the uh, <coughs> November 16th meeting. I'm the Chairman, Terry Bond. Uh, we can have some intros. You want to intro? Teresa Bascom, Vice Chair. So we have uh, five board members, so we have a full board. Now Kevin is uh, seated for Romeo Denae. Romeo is our regular board member. Kevin's an alternate, so he's seated for Romeo. Um, read the rules. So this is a public hearing. The chairman shall call call the hearing in session and read the application. Members of the board may ask any que uh, questions at any point during the testimony. Each person who appears shall be required to state their name and address and indicate the affiliation to the case. Any board member through the chairman may request any party to, ca to the case to speak a second time. Any party to the case who want to ask a question of another party to the case may must do, through the, do it through the chairman. The application shall be called. The applicant shall be called to present their case, and the abutters in favor shall be allowed to speak. The abutters in opposition shall be allowed to speak. The board will hear any evidence pertaining to the case from other parties who wish to speak. The applicant and those in favor shall be allowed to speak in rebuttal. Those in opposition shall be allowed to speak in rebuttal. And uh, we will close the hearing and uh, we'll do the discussion. So we don't have too many people. You're it. So you can uh, let me read the case. You can step up to the table if you want. Okay, we're, we're here to hear uh, case 21-13-VA, application from Joe Costa, requesting a variance from Article 2, Section C, 3A of the Nottingham Zone Ordinance to permit the building of a garage within five feet, where 20 feet is required for the property line. The property line is located. The property is located on 251 Cooper Hill Road in Nottingham, and is identified as Tax Map Two, Lot Two. Okay, Did you bring so your paperwork at all? Okay. Oh, you don't have any. Do you have a copy. Uh, Great. Because you need to present your... Just your five arguments. Right. Oh. That's okay. Oh, that's why I'm for Okay. So this is everything that you gave me originally? Mm -hmm. Okay. that Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. um, so our thing is, is... Uh, have a very limited area because of wetland and the setback that we can actually put a garage in. So um, it's a really private lot and close as a butter. We have talked to Laurel. She has no issue with it at all. We've talked to her several times about it. Um, and we are looking to, uh, like I said, we're just looking to build one garage, a uh, three-car garage. And we have, like I said, we have no other way to protect our vehicles from the weather. Um, our previous house, we did have garage, hatch garage there, but we, it's not possible to do at this property. So we're just looking for a way to protect our vehicles and our other equipment from the weather and um, along the life of, of, our, of our property. Um, but also <laughs> increase our tax rate and um, <laughs> we'll be building a, a quality building. We're having a contractor, um, a, a, yeah, I think I gave you guys the blueprints for it, um, and uh, being built by a, a, a reputable contractor. Um, it's not going to be like a. We don't have blueprints of it, but that's okay. Oh. It's 24 by 36, three car, not a, an unfinished above, um, with a little warmer. Okay, so it, it's 36 by 24. Um, the, the only way we can, get, I don't know who came to my house to look at my property, somebody 
Yeah, we call. Okay. Yeah, we we came over. So the thing is, those those huge boulders, um, we would like to put it there, but because of them, we'd have to blast them out, and that's literally the only other place we could put them. Just with the risk of damage to the property, and they're aesthetically nice. And we won't I guess and they were very pretty, thing. actually. Yeah, they're, they're really, that's one of the things we liked about the property. It, it's kind of cool. Like, you don't see that very often. There's like trees growing through the middle of them, and we don't want to ruin that. So, um, the only way we can really angle it and get it in is I don't think I really need the whole five feet, um, but I think it might be nine or eight with my calculations of the property lines and stuff, but I just don't want to have an issue down the road, I'd rather just be upfront and honest about what I really need, and then if it's less than that, then I think it's safer. So, there's plenty of trees, my neighbor won't even see it, and she has, we've talked to her many times. Oh, go ahead. He just took care of it for me. I'm, I'm in agreement with all of it. I, I, I hear you, but I think for our record, you should maybe have Kevin sign the application. Okay. Because you, you are an owner of the property. Signing, indicating that you're in fact, you know. Absolutely. I have no problem with that. And you're here, so that's uh, lucky you didn't come along. <laughs> But Kevin, that's something I uh, I always ask for is that, that that we look at the deed. It's on our paperwork. Kevin is new with us too, by the way. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's We're new too. We just moved to town. So. We <laughs> love it here. Well, <laughs> we moved from Sandown. Sure. That's south. Yeah, like uh, south. Yes. Exactly. Yes. yes. I grew up in Hampstead, so. So well, welcome to Nottingham. You'll probably be happy here. I, we are very happy here. So so far, it's like a nice, quiet spot. Here. Our movers drove past our driveway. <laughs> Nobody can find us. Everybody misses our driveway. It's great. So on Cooper Hill, are you up at the top of the hill? Our just over, just like yeah, our down over. Property there. line is the Barrington Town line. Oh, down there. The so, conservation land. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we have the conservation land all out back, and then we have another. I think probably 15 acres up behind there that are ours. It's very private, but unfortunately, this little buildable section, the only place we could realistically put a garage, I mean, that is. Near the house. That would make any <laughs> sense of having a garage because then we'd have to walk in the rain or the snow to get to the other part of the property to get to the garage. So um, that, that's, that's the reason why we just don't have any. We tried <laughs> to find a place. Um, I do the, um, do you guys have this as well? Okay, all right, so you have that. Yeah, I tried to draw it out and figure out where I could fit it in somewhere else. The other side of the house is the leach field and the septic tank, because that was going to be another option for us mm -hmm. um, on the other buildable side. Is that the front side? Uh, looking at the house, the right of the house. Yeah. It went down a little. We could see, I think I could see something over there. Yeah, where the, fe the where the fenced in part is, where that black fence is, that, yeah. m that hill, that's the septic and the leach field. Oh. We're thinking about possibly doing something on that side. And then you have some poor drainage on one side, a lot of restrictions. We weren't aware of when we bought the house. <laughs> so we're hoping that this will work. So oh. this when we were there, you had trailers packed into the you know, from where you wanted to put the building. You had some, a trailer and yep. you had something else. Are those, those were on your land? Yes. Because, I mean, it seemed like, you know, 36 feet. No, it was half and half, but Laurel is okay. She knows it's there. She just, she's, oh, so you're just yeah, over our the neighbor line. is okay. like. Yeah, so. But I looked at your fence line, you know, the fence that comes from on the back line. Is that on the line? It's very close to it. And it's it just... makes the curve. Yeah. But, but I was trying to judge where that straight line was going to go. Yeah, so where that trailer is, the black fence is on your right, and it curves down. That's pretty much the property line right there. Okay. So there's a granite post down there sticking out of the ground. That's one marker. And then there is another granite post in the woods. So I was able to visually, I put a marker at one, put a marker at another granite post, and then I just made as straight a line as I possibly could. And 
measured off of where the, the poorly drained area was 50 feet away from that. So those are the little blue flags. I don't know if you yes, noticed we those. Saw those yeah. That's 50 feet. I have to be away from the, the grass on that side back. So it kind of gives me that little triangle of an area. Okay. And then between the rocks, the <laughs> boulders, and the wetland and the property line, I'm, I'm trying as best I can to get in there without it's just, just the corner yeah, of the building is like that. Yeah. The corner of the garage is like it would, that. It would probably go over, uh, it would probably be close to like nine feet from the property line, from what I could figure out with my, with my map and measurements. But that's why we went with five. In the front of the house? It's, it's um, not wetlands. They have it labeled as poor yeah, drainage. It's, it's, I don't know if there's a difference because they have wetlands in the back, and then on the side it just says poor it's drainage. It's not labeled. It's PD. Right. It's not wetlands. It's actually right. poorly drained. You got to be 50 feet. Right. right. Yep. 34, so, 75. Yeah. Um, so now, when you come in your driveway, you've got a little storage box there. Mm -hmm. right? How far is a line behind that storage box? Oh, we got a ways behind that. Behind that? Yeah, I mean, is that tight to the line or? Yeah, the line. So yeah, the. I'm, I'm just looking at your map. I mean, it shows. Yeah. So okay. So it shows that that property line of that other lady's lot, and then so I it's hard to judge how wide that. It's not on her lot. No, it's it's on our lot. The the. Um, oh no, it's probably on your lot, but I mean how. Because you got all those woods behind it, but that's right. not necessarily all yours. That's another lot. Right. right. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So, and that's where the garage would have to be, like out there somewhere, because even with the way the poorly drained area is here, I have to stay 50 feet away from that as well. So, I'd have to stay. I think he's asking how far away. It, that, the woods to the. When you're well, going I, I was just asking, like when you come in your driveway where the storage trailer, where that storage box is, mm -hmm. like say from the edge of your driveway up into those woods, how far do you hold? Oh. That, where's that granite pin? How far up is that it's granite post? Like, I'd say that's there, that maybe mean. like 30 feet. Oh, okay, so you don't go up in there. That no, way. no, it's not. It's more of a rectangle yeah. shaped. Well, you can see from your drawer, and yeah, it looks tight. Yeah, not so, much. but the issue, and, and I, we could do that too, but the problem is that, that would be like 100 feet from our house. Oh, <laughs> so, right, yeah, I know. So it's just like, it's like I don't really. You have to take a car to drive. Yeah, I'd have to get like a side-by-side <laughs> -side or something oh. to go out to my garage or something. But, um, a tunnel. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, then we have granite. Oh, go ahead. Um, Mr. Costa, I have one more question, and I'm looking at your denial by, from Dale Sylvia, the yeah. code enforcer. And he says it's map lot 2-2, two, two. and on your drawing we have lot 2 and lot 2-1, two, so there doesn't seem to be a 2-2 two, two on the drawing, so I'm just trying to make sure we're all looking at the same thing. It's tax map 2 lot 2 according to the public hearing notice. So the, the one that's labeled 2 1 is 2 2? Is that what you're saying? Oh. No. Are you it talking about the. Yes, it should be. Well, you could be Your two lot 1. 2 maybe. 2? Because it's tax map 2 lot 2 according to the public hearing notice. And. According to the application. Your applica right, the application. Application says tax map 2, two lot 2. two. Here, His drawing say two it's one and, and just point just your drawing that doesn't say indicate it. As yeah, when you draw you have like oh, two okay. one. I'm sorry. Okay. We have a tax map here that we can just verify. Well, it's not two one, it's two two. So I just need to okay, make so that two correction two to your is the other one two one? The the neighbor? The front lot is Laurel. Yes. The city. Laurel, the city. Is she related to you? Because it's a shared driveway. No, she. So the people that owned the property before us were her parents. Okay. So they sold it. Okay. So that was all one piece. Then they split it. They, off. Yeah, they subdivided, and the parents lived there, and then they sold. So. Okay. Yeah, we've actually been in talks with her someday, possibly paving the driveway. So. That might be <laughs> want to do that. So. She's excited because we said we don't want to pave it until we get a garage. So we know where. <laughs> so she's like, all right, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so she's interested in that. She's on board with all that. Yeah, I mean the boulders, uh, they were big. They're huge. Yeah. 
I love that though. It, it's in the, oh, they look very in nice. the summertime. Yeah, it's great. it's like mystical in a way. It's more yeah. like magical. It's kind of cool because I guess I don't know if you guys know. We front there's like glacier mm -hmm. boulders here. Then that's what they are, I guess. Huge boulders on that road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why we don't want to touch that. Yeah, they yeah, spectacular. Yeah. We have some on the other side too. I was, like, was going to take some tonight. I took like, one. They were right, so good, nice. Right. Yeah, I <laughs> said, "Wow, these are nice poles." Yeah. Is it possible to see the top plan? This. Oh, you the, mean this, this here? One? Or the like the real one? Uh, I don't have a plot plan on me. Um, tax map. I have the tax map. These are the poles. You want to see? That is beautiful poles. Looks nice. Is that the boulders? Yeah. If you notice somebody's building cleared a lot down, but oh, there's yeah, a huge one. boulder there. Yeah. Oh, the neighbor, yeah. The kept, neighbor yeah, that's I building. Yeah, they, oh, they were, uh, yeah, they, they brought in a big building. machine to She's do talking that. talking about the big rock. Yeah. It looks like Jurassic Park. Yeah. <laughs> I've been yeah. that lot since I lived in Barrington. He's, he's, he's building it himself, so. Yeah. It looks like Jurassic Park down there. That that big boulder is, is really massive. It's so really beautiful. This is right here. Oh, it is. It's, it's about it's five or six <laughs> boulders. Isn't it? Yeah, I don't want to get rid of those. They're kind of they're cool. So. That was one of the reasons. Yeah. I over Pawtuckaway. Have you been over to Pawtuckaway? They have like um, boulders. Oh, really? Yeah. Probably a relative of there's your, actually your a, boulders. There's actually one in the conservation. I went for a walk. There is a massive boulder out back and uh there was also like a little waterfall because it's been raining so much it was like a little while it was it's been raining <laughs> notice <laughs> we were there and we were there and when i left my house it was three quarters of an inch of water in my rain gauge and when i came home it was two inches so oh, really? <laughs> we really got wet yeah a lot of <laughs> it really came down Amazing. yeah when he's finished, will you go through the five criteria just so we have it on record, yeah. please? Okay. Yeah, your application. Do you have a question? Yeah. Originally, we had 10. I don't know that it needs to be done as long as we have the, the correct thing that we speak in our motion, correct, Bonnie? Because we can make changes. Um, because their application says 10 feet, and he's telling us tonight that he may need um, a, He's going for five because, but, but he thinks it might be nine. But, so if we say five, right? Because this, because all the this is the house. Then he doesn't need to change the application because we've made that correction in our motion. Correct. The house is exactly 50 feet away already, and it's way back in the woods anyway. Right. And this lady doesn't isn't here. Right. I have a text message from her that says she's all set. <laughs> We're very, we, we get along very well, so. Where that storage container is, is not really 50 feet away from this wetland, so I have to go even further than where that storage is. My biggest concern will be that, it, um, like if a fence needs to go up, that there's enough space that a fence can go up. Okay. Okay, that was a question. Well, I don't know, is the fence have set back? Yeah, Okay, we've gone, we've gone. We're back on the garage the right things. I think these are the five things in the garage. That's true. I don't know how it works. I'm not familiar. Okay. It has 10 feet. Yeah, they had to cross the. Yeah, about right. It. But on your. It's crossed out on page one, but not on the Right. You have uh, on your criteria on the last part of unnecessary hardship, you have 10 feet, and you, want, you actually want five feet. It, it yes. what, what matters is what we say in our motion to approve. Right. Because we oh, make yeah, we make changes it. all the time. Yeah. Yep. But it is. I agree for the record. 
Okay, have you read all the, we've done all the criteria? I He's getting to, ready to do them. I have to do five. Okay. Is, there, is that it? I did one, two, four, three, four. I should have to do five. Um, so do you want me to redo all? Do you want me to do them? No, no, okay. Um, okay, so there, and uh, the fifth one is there are three very large boulders in the area. We would like to have the garage, but the cost to have them removed would be very high and, and could be dangerous with um, damage to the property or the, or the foundation. Um, they would need to be blasted using explosives. Um, and I said we're looking for, it says 10, but I did change it to five. So just to be on the safe side of I did resubmit. Being code. No, yeah, it's on, it's on here. They okay. he only did it on that side. Oh, yeah. no, that's what they had me do. Question now for this is it you are looking for. 15 feet so that you're only at five five feet from the setback of your neighbor yes. or are you asking for a five foot variance and you're going to be 15 feet from the neighbor you're going to be five feet, five from, feet the from the neighbor's line so you're looking for a 15 foot variance yes yes okay oh, man. <laughs> you can tell we're new at this that's okay <laughs> Right. You want to be five feet from the line. But yes. Yes. We believe we'll yeah, be I mean, When I looked at it, I mean, I was just judging where those trailers, it seemed like quite, at the 36 feet, it seemed like quite a long way over to the line. But I didn't have anything to measure with, but, yeah. and it was hard to judge where, where the line. Would you say the trailers are like half, maybe? Yeah, half. that wood is kind of like where that, that's wood, wood stacked trail. wood is kind of where the line is right there. Okay. That's probably the, yeah, I eyeballed the, you, you know, I remember. looked at the fence, tried to judge it where it went through. I put two orange stakes out there. One is the actual property line, and the other one was going to be kind of how close, the the, the, where the corner of the garage would be, if the way we could best angle it in there with the, the wetland setback. So. All right, Nate, you mentioned the, uh, the rocks would need to be blasted. Did yeah. you see, did somebody come in and look at that and tell you that? Because we weren't sure if those rocks were actually just set their rocks for the design it was based somebody on the that history because it was a glacier so the glacier goes way i'm, I'm thinking of them like icebergs <laughs> well into the earth you mean yes yeah. I, yeah. well i was wondering if it wasn't maybe rock that was moved when the place was built and they yeah, the they property looked, owners were like i like them right there they looked awfully natural they weren't all beat up yeah because there's like two evergreen trees that have grown like right in the middle of them like, like literally a space and space. those are huge so I would think the trees have been there for a long time and the earth in the middle of those rocks is pretty high too so I feel like it's probably just been set set there for a very long time okay. I don't think it was, I think that's might be why the house is where it I is. think that's where the house is where is it, it is. yeah couldn't build it else we actually had a tree expert uh, and, uh, and tree company natural no no but we had a but I'm sorry, I didn't hear anything. So chances are if they're glaciers, they're surface rocks, right? It did say it was formed by glaciers. Big bulldozer probably. If the bulldozer is sitting on top of the rock. Then what do you suppose is underneath them? But it depends. You know, I mean, you might move. Yeah, they might be sitting there. It might be sitting there. It might be sitting there. It could be more <coughs> rocks. It could be a big rock pile that the glacier left. Yeah, so you just don't know. But we didn't investigate that. The boulder fields. They are boulders sitting on top of the rock, and they're all over town. Yeah. Boulders oh, yeah. are just sitting out in the middle of the woods, and mm. now they're just sitting there and not buried. Good rocks here. <laughs> That's Granite State. <laughs> we didn't investigate uh, it. The only, uh, the only other thing we uh, could have done was um, we could have got a variance from the wetlands a little bit. Mm -hmm. We could have pulled away from the line a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, that would have got you maybe either on the line or just you know, a little over. But, but you're in here for a variance for the line, so. Okay, are there any other questions? Just a comment if you in the <coughs> large of 
way out to the far right here. So that does limit him in Yeah, it, it does. You know, it's unusual that we get a 15 foot variance on 17 acres of land. Oh, right, I know. The wetland and all the other attributes to it, but you know, this isn't a big square piece of property. It's very, very skinny. And then, you know, probably half of the acres is, is beyond the driveway, beyond the house. They probably actually did, you know, a pretty good job squeezing the house in where they put it, you know, with the layout of the land. So. Yeah. It appears to have very little road frontage. That's it. We don't even see the driveway coming all the way to Cooper Hill on this. Best I could tell from that. Is this, the, is this the property line right here? Yeah, the driveway is the only frontage you have. Is so it's a back no, a little bit on the far side. It oh, kind you of have a, a little cutout, out. and then on the our side there's yeah when more they more subdivided it with the parents I guess the reason why it's that shape is because the town required them to have enough frontage so it's actually our property is like a U around her property oh, so you do have frontage on the other side yeah oh so you go circle her mm -hmm. yeah, okay so, so this yeah so this is you on the Barrington line right that's your property line so yep. you you come around there okay yeah oh, I didn't realize but it's wet over there too. It is. A lot of yeah, wet. you could see a lot more wet than I expected. Well, and nobody wants to put their driveway halfway down their driveway. I mean, their garage halfway down their driveway. I, I, <laughs> I would agree with that. Okay, do we have any more questions? There's no uh, opposition, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to close the case right now. I'm going to close the uh, public Thanks. hearing for now. And we'll discuss it. Okay. Really? Really? Any questions? Discussion? Any questions? None. Okay. Do we have a motion? Yeah. Or? I'll, I'll make a motion that we accept. I have to find the application. Yeah, they're on the front page, I think. Application from. Joseph Costa, and what's her name, ma'am? Sharon Costa. Sharon Costa, yeah. and Sharon Costa, I'm adding her name. Yep, good idea. <laughs> Requesting a variance from Article 2, Section 3, 3, Section C.3.A of the Nottingham Zone to permit the building of a garage, five foot setbacks for 20 feet is required. The property is located at 251 Cooper Hill Road in Nottingham, New Hampshire. It is identified as tax map two, lot two. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve this. Um, so we have a motion and a second to approve case 21-13-VA. Uh, All those in favor? Aye. Say aye. All those opposed? Okay, passes. Now I believe you have, um, does that, I think, I think there's really a 30, 30 day. It is 30. It is 30. I think it's 30 day because they had put in a 45 day appeal, but I don't think that passed. And so I think you, it's like 30 days for if somebody, but there's nobody here. So somebody I think can you, appeal it. You're not probably going to get going in 30 days anyway. No. So you're pretty safe. <laughs> I wish. So, I have a wish. <laughs> so, but there Where is a 30 day today. appeal period on the zoning. So that's what we always tell people. So, okay. Okay. So you're all. You're all set. You want me to add her? You should her probably name. sign. Yeah, she yeah, should. On the, on the documents, just to keep. You should write her yep, name and sign. Oh, sign at the bottom. So Thank she you. Doesn't, she doesn't go change her mind in a week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she wouldn't do that. I know she would. <laughs> just that these things need to be. No, I, I, I started, that's all. Absolutely, 100% agree. So thank you very much. We appreciate your You're time. You're very welcome. Thank welcome you. to town and happy Thanksgiving. Thank, thank you. You as well. Happy thank Thanksgiving. You. Thank you. Time limitations on building permit being pulled. There's a time what limitation on a variance. It was a two year or something. Yeah, correct. It is. It, it's already in, in the ordinance. It's in the yes. statute. It's right. the state yes, law. it is. But it's also in our ordinance. Yeah. Right? You have two years. Yeah, the variance. Joe? No. Oh, Joe? That's okay. Oh, the variance is good, you know, under our ordinance, the variance is good for like two years. So. If you don't do it, two years it expires. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Well, okay.
We're trying to get it done as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you. We got All right. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye. In the old days, we used to put a, I know Earl, um, he'd always put like But in the, in the old days, there was no statutory. Right, there was no statutory. Understood. Okay. So that's why a lot of boards did it. But now the state has already covered that. Like it, I think in 2000. Right, because I think I think some boards were kind of obsessive, you know, obsessive with the excessive with the uh, time limits. The state gave them a two year. So. Okay. Going on to the. Um, the approval of the minutes. Of yep. That's just the. Uh, just that, but it's Okay, because I I want to go back to that issue we discussed last. Right. Let's take care of the first set of minutes. Do you need a motion? Well, we need a motion on the first set of minutes. Yeah, this, 817. This, we, we're not sure if we approve these 817 or not, but we want to just make a motion to approve them if we did, you know, so they, they can go up on the uh, website. So. Okay, you want to make a motion? Go right ahead. I'll make a motion to accept the Nottingham Zoning Board meeting for 17th as written. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the uh, minutes for 817 21. All those in favor? Raise your hand. All those opposed? Okay, it's five to nothing in favor. There's another document in our. Yes. So that Raylene can hear you. Sorry, Renee. You have a soft voice, and I have a hard ear. Is that better? So <laughs> that down that, a little bit that doesn't a that doesn't make a difference for her hearing you. You have to project. It make a difference for the public. Yes, but she needs to hear. I'm just curious if that's something we need to review. Yes. Yes, we need to discuss it. No, it is not automatic. This is not automatically being added. Right, we would vote. Uh, Kevin went through, you went through the uh, hearing, right? And part of what St. Mr. St. Lawrence wanted was some of the statements, That's so you said. added them. He wanted the statements from yourself as well as uh, uh, Ms. Bascom. Uh, and then he asked about putting in statements from complete statements from the We don't usually put in like full statements. I we usually try to summarize it. As far as when you put it. This is blatantly untrue, as by definition, a rehearing should be heard and part of the record. Now, when I tried to find out what needed to be included, look back at some material and it said in motion for a hearing, the rehearing is not limited to the issues that were originally identified, and the case begins again from the, from the beginning, which I interpret to mean that stuff that has already been presented can be represented and rediscussed. That was also my understanding. That was also my understanding, and also we had a new member, I think, who wasn't there for the original hearing. I mean, Romeo was not on the board. Well, Romeo was. Romeo, Romeo was, was, was here for the. He was here. He wasn't for the here for the May one. What's that? He was here for May. Yeah, I think he was. Uh, no, we didn't. no, he wasn't here for May. No, he, he wasn't was here. here. He wasn't get elected till June. Right, but he he was June. there for that was a long hearing we did in June. That went to like eleven thirty at night, and 
we had discussed a lot of stuff. So it wasn't like he, he missed too much. But it seems to me that it, that, that discrepancy or misunderstanding or whatever well, was it, it, it was should be clarified because from what he said here, you said you weren't going to go back and redo it. But according to some of the information I found online, it says that it starts again from the beginning. The request initially, my understanding for it was to bring to light new right. issues. Their request to us specifically was to rehear because they had new issues they and concerns. Stated, they stated things that we missed, that we did the meeting with uh, Zoom and we shouldn't have been on Zoom, and they had different things they stated. I mean, when I said new stuff, it means new stuff they could present to either show that we did something wrong, which they did. His lawyer put in uh, a whole sheet, a couple pages of stuff that he claimed we did wrong during the rehearing. Part. So, um, but but then a lot of the other stuff was brought up. But if a rehearing says the case begins again from the beginning, that anything that, and his statement that he wanted to say. But I don't think it starts from scratch. Said. I mean, I think it, it, it. Uh, Could we? We already heard a, a ton of stuff. We were not going to rehear all that stuff. There was nothing new there to hear that we hadn't already heard several times. Mr. St. Lawrence got a time. He got up. He he got to present his arguments. His right. lawyer presented stuff. But the minutes as stated. The minutes of what? It seems to me that it should the minutes should reflect something about that. Could we could we ask for a restatement of the motion to rehear? So exactly what did we approve? Can, can you look that up, Kevin, or is that too much to ask? So what we I know it's before you were here. Mm -hmm. um, at the meeting in which we voted. I believe Romeo made the motion. Romeo made the motion, yeah. Seven, and somebody eight. seconded it to, might have been me, to rehear the Watercross case. I would like to hear the language of that motion, which was voted on by the board. And you're saying it was 817? No, no, no. No, it was, right, that was in July. Sometimes. I would say it was in July. Because so Romeo was here, and we voted in the end of June, June 28th. Because according to this, it says you've got to stick to new stuff. You don't have to, I mean. Well, new stuff meaning either you present something new that says that we did something wrong during our original hearing, which they, right. they had done some of that. You know, the lawyer had said, well, we did something wrong with the Zoom and this and that. That was new, you know, that was somewhat new stuff. But or something says, new, you know, this is St. Lauren. He had, you know. We, we heard a we lot heard. of the same arguments that night anyway. They talked about property value was discussed, place was discussed, the. Um, I'm just was trying it. to Him, uh, balance the statement that's in the minutes with the statement that says um, begins again from the beginning. Rehearing the motion. Where does it say is that? The case begins again from Where the does beginning. it say that? Which RSA? Well, she's RSA. looking at the minutes, I think. No, she's no, no. it's um, from a, it's from Christine Fillmore. No, you need to go. She's with an our attorney at New Hampshire. She used to be at New Hampshire Municipal needs to be Association. In, in our book. In our well, I know, but I would think that I didn't know where to look in the book, and I didn't have the most. I don't think I have the most. So training. you're looking at a New Hampshire Municipal Association. I'm sorry, I cannot hear. With you're looking at a New Hampshire Municipal Association, you yes. know, document that's yeah. teaching us how to run meetings. Usually, that's what they're doing. And they're instructing board members. I just think that we need to have this point clear between what was said, what was told to Mr. Loren, 
Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. I thought he said it was. No, he went the other way. He, I think we call him Laurent. But oh. He said Saint. I thought it was Saint Laurent, but then I thought his notes said it was Laurent. So if I, I just before we vote on these minutes, I would like to see if we don't have time to clarify this one way or the other in terms of whether a rehearing requires a rehearing starting from the beginning or well, a I mean, we with only just new stuff. I think that needs to be pretty clearly. I, I'm not sure that's a determination that we semi amateur citizen board members can can categorically state here tonight. I think that's an attorney question. Well, right, but I'm just saying I would like to see it clarified in the minutes one way or the other. I mean, it was said. I mean, some, right, well, we, some people feel that it should not have been a rehearing of everything, and some people feel it should. And right. what, what's the right way? I, I, I can't say. No, but I think we, that's my point. But it was I my understanding. Make a motion that we clarify this information. I thought it was a rehearing from the beginning, but I'm not well, an attorney. We, I mean, we had a rehearing, um, the case that went to court, came back to us, we did a rehearing of that. I, we didn't start from scratch. That was the one over oh, in yeah, uh, we certainly didn't. White's Grove. So nope. We didn't start from scratch with that one. So no, I mean, we didn't. Precedent and I've been to other rehearings where it's basically you have to present something new that changes the people's mind that you, or, or present something to them that you did something wrong. Correct. And that was, you know, they had that opportunity, and yeah, in, we heard, in my opinion, I mean, we heard five and a half, six hours that. worth of testimony. It wasn't like we were, it wasn't like we just said, you know, well, we'll give you five minutes, okay, yep, time's up. But, I mean, we had listened a lot. Go ahead, Kevin. Yes, you can. It sounds like the We all understand. Are we allowed to, you know, state that let's start only, let's let's hear new only, or or did we limit the discussion because it should have been from the beginning, or or based upon the the testimony, they could have started from the beginning, but really no one really did start from the beginning. So I'm not sure how much of an issue it is, but I'm not hearing questioning on it. Should have been done. <coughs> well, I mean, the uh, I mean, they have appealed to the Superior Court. I'm sure the Superior Court will clarify if we did something wrong and send it back to us, much like the uh, case over in uh, White's Grove. So they have appealed to the Superior Court. Well, I don't think we did anything wrong. I no, I'm just asking you. Did did? did right, but I'm just she's saying. thinking you said you, they did. Do you did know you that they that? did, or are you thinking they did? No, or I think I thought we had something in the mail. Didn't they appeal? I'm sorry, I was looking up your book. Didn't they appeal to this? They did an appeal to the Superior Court. Would that be well, Mr. I haven't heard anything yet. Well, I thought I had something. Uh, I've had to do it by now. No, but I thought I had something in my uh, paperwork. Did you send me something, or did Chris send me something? something? Yeah, my concern. 30 day window. They would, to do that? Yeah. The court would not allow it if it wasn't. The court wouldn't okay. accept it. Did you get something in the mail? No, I did not. How long? If, if it's in court, though, it could be forever. Well past that's why I was asking him. Ideally, we would have heard about it. Well, I think Not they appeal because I have something. Uh, Jerry I don't know where I got it from, either Chris or I thought Kevin said oh, that. I think I had something. Yeah. And I thought you said to do all of us, so I didn't I think, I think much of it. Uh, so it looks like they're going to apply the water process. Right. On 10, 20 seconds. Yeah. 
Right, he appealed within 30 days. Yeah. So you sent it to Terry, but not to the rest of us? My, my concern so that's the is chairman's. that yeah. we didn't yeah. get it to Terry. The thing was we had to stick to new stuff, but the, whatever the organization is, representative, that, that it goes back to a rehearing, I would just think it would be wise to know what that issue is in case they apply any further, we have some information. All I'm asking is, what's the information? And I don't know if we can ask the Mr. Chairman or somebody for a clarification of that. Could I respond to her? Oh, sure, go right in. Since, since apparently it has been uh, appealed in the Superior Court, um, we will not necessarily know anything about it. The town attorney will take care of it, I believe. I mean, we won't be notified, but we will get a judgment back and that judgment will tell us whether we messed up or not. Right. Don't you agree, Terry? Yeah, I think it would be important to know for future reference. Well, we'll know because it's not going to take... Okay. Well, so it has gone. I, I mean, I think it's a good thing for us to know, but I think this, the right. court we, will let us know if we made a mistake. Know, I would think. They'll send it back to us. It will be interesting probably. to know because I remember specifically that White's Grove case right. where know. we were told for a rehearing and we did not rehash from the very beginning with that entire right. case. Who said that? I disagree with you. Yeah, we had we met with the attorney, and that was it. Was, we needed to have a rehearing, and we were not told that we had to hear everything all over again. And this wasn't this wasn't a court order; it was a request from them. Right, they requested uh, an that appeal. One. They did an appeal through the town, asking us to, to directly to us, asking us to rehear, and because they had. Other, and they sent us that letter of all stuff that they wanted us to hear, which is what I thought that rehearing was all about, was hearing what you have in this letter from your lawyer to us. Okay. okay. I think the White's, the White's Grove thing, excuse me, Kevin, the White's Grove thing, I, I was on the board then. Correct. Yeah. The White's Grove thing, as I remember, we decided one way Actually, we decided the same way, but people changed their votes on the board. I know that I did. Um, the selectmen objected to our decision. No. Yes, and they asked us to rehear it. They sent Dale Silva, Dale or his predecessor, Paul. You took it to court. No, it was a court. They took us to court. They took us to court after we reheard it. No. no. It was before, and the lawyer told us, you need to rehear this. Well, that's what I'm saying is we weren't told to go right from the beginning. Yeah, so, no. Everything is in the I have no idea. So, we are told you? usually, I mean, Thank you. we've had many a times people come in before us and they say, oh, is that going to be precedent? And we're always told that we no each precedent. case we do is an individual do case, case. Right. it does not set a precedent. Right. Right. Yeah, no, no, the, no I don't but what I'm saying is that because of that and what we were guided, in my opinion, guided to with what we got from the oppo opposition's lawyers for this case that we're talking about now, my understanding was that we were to hear what they had as complaints about the way the prior decision was made. So it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily that it was like, be quiet, we don't want to hear anything from anybody. It was like, this is what you say we didn't hear, and that we were amiss on with that last case, so let's talk about what you feel we were amiss on. And I mean, I don't know how many times you can hear the same, it's noise, it's this, it's that. It's like, no, tell, tell me something new that you think is going to change my mind. Because you feel like I made I made a wrong decision. Then we had uh, Pam. Uh, she had not spoke before. Pam. Correct. Right. Yep. She came in and spoke. So. I don't know. I m maybe maybe the thing Terry is to f follow up with legal because even though you found something in NHMA our rule book, that I and I'm looking right where it talks oh, about rehearing. Rehearing. I have it actually I tagged. It's 672 colon 2 is the motion for rehearing. 
Um, you ordered the new books for us, correct? And do you still have the case of the books that came in for 2020 and 2021 that we were not given because of COVID? I'm sure I have a book for you, for sure. That would be great if, I would, I would like that until the newer ones come in, please. Because I, you, use my book. <laughs> I think we'd all like one. I don't, I don't know how many are around, I'll, I'll, but I know there's at least, I know I have one, which you're more than welcome to have. No, that's fine. So I know there's a case of them because I was informed that they had been ordered and then COVID shut everything down, so they just kind of started collecting dust. What did you say, 672 dot? Two. Colon two. On this 2018-19 um, edition, which is the only one I have at the moment, it's on page 497. And it, well, actually, it starts on page what, what the same one you do. On page 496, 497. 677. Actually, it starts on page 694. Or chapter 677. So now that we've talked about that and we're getting close to Bonnie's time to leave, to we still have 15 oh, minutes, 20 minutes. The language that, that's used. Pardon? We need to clarify whether there was an issue or not so that we have that information for future reference. We're going to get clarity from the court. We also know. Um, if Terry would inform us. Yeah, I didn't realize you guys, I thought it got sent out to everybody. No, I think it's the chairman gets sent to me and I said, oh, really. and, and no, no, I, I know. I think okay. he sent it to me. Oh, I, so I assumed he sent it to everybody. I didn't, yes. see the, I didn't look yes. at the distribution. Yes. I don't recall seeing it. No, no, I don't think, no, I don't think anybody saw it. No. I get a couple things too. I mean, I think they yeah. send certain things to the chairman that they don't send out for. Yeah, for I didn't realize it. So keep their phone should have said. I should have said send it out to the rest of the board. All right. All right, so we've got approval of minutes. Any other, we don't have public comment. Do we, do we have anything else? Do we have a motion to say we need to pursue this or was it something that Kevin will just, or someone will talk to the lawyer? How do, how do we? Terry, Raylene would like your assurance that this is gonna be followed up on. You're talking on the, if, if we did it right? If we if should have listened that right. more, if we should have started from the beginning or okay. just heard? It, right, because if you look at what it was written, what's in the minutes, I just think it can be a little confusing unless we hear saying, no, we did not have to start at the beginning. It was okay to say we're only going to do new information or whether the rehearing, as I interpret was that other stuff could be, be needed to start. I don't even know what start from the beginning means, whether it means last time or the first time or it means you start yeah, all over from like square one. That's but I don't think you you have to start over from square one because we. Have, I've been to, you know I've been to two or three I've been to two or three I've been to a couple of meetings where we've had rehearings which never start from the beginning we always start with they clear, they say oh you did this wrong you did that wrong you did this wrong or this is new information that we discovered since the you know. It wasn't presented at the last hearing. Th those are the things that I always find, I think, that usually come up at a rehearing. So. My only que my question is do we need a motion to say that we are going to look this up and get correct information, or do we just do it? It, 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 it'll just be done. Motions, me or Terry said he would Fox. do it, so let's That's all. ask That's him to bring us back. Motion or no motion? I don't yeah. know what's needed. Yeah. And someone will look this up and find yeah, it. Yeah, well, Kevin asked the, asked the attorney and what the procedure on the rehearing is and see if it's, if it's, I mean, you could just clarify with him, did we, you know, we, they were either supposed to present new stuff or present something that we did wrong during the hearing and we did not want to but go all the way through six so. hours more of hearing, <laughs> so. Just look at that stuff that you gave us tonight. Mm -hmm. What? Right, this said and what Laurent Saint Laurent said and to say what's right here. Right. We gotta make a motion to add this to our minute we gotta approve our minutes from We don't have them all, so we can't approve those minutes until next month. 
Oh, okay. Because so we, we don't have, have those. Element. But you're going to add, we should make a motion to add this part. Do you have any problem with, if, you know, the part you gave yeah. us? Um, but you all have a copy now. Do you have a copy of it? That's what they've been yeah, talking about. Okay, so let's. Um, what are we going to do? Okay. They will be included in the minutes. Yeah, we just need a motion to add them to the. Well, it would be to edit the minutes, but we haven't seen the full minutes yet, so we really don't even need to move to add these. He's got to type up the minutes. Right. So, so we'll just make sure they're included okay, so in we'll it. Okay, so incorporate these into the. If you I'll, I'll say incorporate these into our minutes if nobody has any objections. So. No, I don't. No okay. Objections. If you have objections, then we'll make you, a motion. You can't really make a motion to something that's not being presented for approval. There's no document to attach this to that we're all looking at yet. So, does that make sense? That makes sense. Yeah. You know, you would, you would Right. Well, so then we have to approve those minutes when it gets done. And then we we done and all. The well, they're going to come to us as draft for edits, and then we would be approving them, either as edited or as written. Kevin, do you have our dates for next year? It, typically, in our binder, long about now, sometime between now and December, yep. um, we end up with a list of. Um, the base of the schedule for next year? Correct. Uh, so I am working on it. It's clearly it's an easy formula to do. Yep. I, I will have something else you guys. Uh, next okay, month. the other thing, can you um, have Chris email the appeal to the rest of the yeah, I'll, I'll actually send okay, it. Okay, yeah. Oh, so you Chris can email. Sent it to you with any forwarded to me as an FYI. Okay. So I, didn't re I do apologize. I should have sent okay, it. Okay, yeah. No, I didn't realize you didn't. I didn't look at the distribution I just assumed it went to everybody like it usually does so do we have any cases at this point for December uh, not yet deadline is next uh, Monday okay do you have any noise any people I heard anything. usually I get a wrong answer. maybe we'll get the month on <laughs> yeah that would be that would be oh, Christmas right. Right. You know, uh, you know, you that would be on the 14th uh, the third Tuesday Third Thursday, whatever that may be. Well, the 15th. You okay on the 14th, Kevin, if I'm out of town? Oh, yeah, there's no point. December, but, but the, the third is the 21st. That's the third Tuesday. You mean the 14th the is Tuesday. the second Tuesday of the month. It could be the third. No, it, it could. Yeah. We could move it. I mean, we, we had the to move it if we want. But he, but the, he has this, the deadlines to deal with. Right. Them. Yeah. And you move it up. I can't. I don't know the rule. Our, our chance to change those dates was when it was set. Yeah. The public has already. Exactly. Yeah. So the next date would be what? Date? December twenty-first. Pray that no one comes forth. <laughs> Keep your door locked, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Your phone off. Yeah, I don't think if you got, I mean, you ever heard anything? Dale hasn't said anything. Uh, usually, yeah, usually, yeah, you usually get a heads up from somebody. Or someone calls with questions. Right. And they say, you know, hey, come in by, uh, you know, by this date. When's the deadline? Uh, Monday. Uh, it's on uh, Monday. Oh, coming. Actually, now that I think about it. Coming right up. There was a gentleman uh, that had some. There may be a variance coming in. Uh, apartment uh, complex, dumpster. <laughs> that, that sounds very Something interesting. Something small. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very Christmassy. Yeah. Yes. Nothing else? No. no. Okay. Motion to adjourn if nobody else has anything. The 14th, she was not going to be here. Are you here no. the 21st? I don't know. I, just, I know I'm going to be gone some period of time there, 14th or the 21st. <coughs> Could you please email us when you find out so we can reach out and tag I him? I find out on the 20th. <laughs> okay. All right, so maybe you better just plan on coming then, Kevin, please.
That's why I asked if you were available. If for some reason I shouldn't be here. Motion to adjourn. Okay, do we have a second? So moved. Okay, the motion is second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, we got Bonnie out at 8 o'clock. Thank you, guys.